Okay, so here's a view of my pantry. This is the water heater closet and this other door here is my laundry room. Okay, let me walk over and let me show you what my pantry looks like inside. It is very messy, you guys. I'm warning you, I'm kind of embarrassed to show it, but here it is. It is a complete disaster in there. Um, we moved into this house about three months ago and we're actually not gonna be staying here We're gonna be moving sometime next year when our house is done building So I didn't even want to bother um, buying anything to organize But it's just way too messy and I have to do something about it because I don't know what's in there There's a lot of expired things and we've been buying double of everything because we can't really see what's in there. So this is a before view. Um, I will be showing you the after and I will be, you know, going through everything, whatever I use to organize it. Yeah, I have all kinds of things here. Appliances, cleaning products. It's just a big mess. Big, big, big mess. Yeah. There it is. I just have a lot of big um, things that I'm actually going to be taking out. Because they don't fit in here. We'll put them in a storage where we have most of our things from our other house. So yeah, so this is the part one. I will be doing uh, organizing the pantry and I will show you the before and after. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay everyone, today I'm going to show you the after my pantry organization. Uh, as you can see, it's another day. I'm wearing something different. And uh, it took, um, it actually took longer than expected. But it's finally done and I'm really pleased with the results. So let me show you. Let's go up this way. Okay, so let's open. It is a big difference. I had a lot of expired stuff in there that I got rid of. This is how it looks now. Now I'm going to show you what I keep in each shelf, so I have to use a step ladder, so let's move up here, sorry for the lighting, it's probably going to be a little dark up here, so on this very top shelf, I keep some extra napkins. I have a popcorn machine. I keep my crock pot. My cabinets, uh, cabinets aren't big enough, so you know, I just keep it up here. And here I have in this basket, I put a label here, and it is focus. Why aren't you focusing? Okay, it's a food processor, blender, and a mixer. Let's see if I can bring it down. This is to my Vitamix. Keep it in here. Then over here I have my food processor and the handheld mixer. Breb or this is from Breville and this is a uh, KitchenAid. Okay, so let's put this back. I mostly put things that I don't run uh, use like every day up here. So, and then way in the back, I have some bottles of wine, and here I have my Vitamix. I'm not really using it now because it's too heavy and bulky, so I just keep it up here. 
I have a magic uh, bullet that is uh, very light and easy to use and clean. Because on this next shelf, let's put this napkin back. On oh, these baskets, I'm got, I got them from Marshalls. I got three of them. The big one, small, and medium. Okay, so here on this shelf, I keep my protein powder. Uh, things that I need for my workouts. So I was, as I was saying before, my battery died. Here I keep all the things that I use to for my workouts. I have my um, pre-workout fat burner and my BCAAs. I don't know why this isn't turning that well, but. Yeah, I put them on this Lazy Susan because it's supposed to be easier to just turn it around and see, you know, grab whatever I need. Okay, now let me show you what I keep in this basket. I keep, um, I have uh, two containers of this um, for the Magic Bullet. I have the uh, large one and this small one. The rest are in my storage. So that's all I keep here. In this other basket, I keep um, cake cups for the Keurig. Yeah, we don't use them. Uh, I mean, um, I have a little uh, storage thing uh, right next to the Keurig. And I just keep the extra ones here. Then I have this tray right here that we can, you know, use it for whenever we have visitors and we give them tea or a drink we carry the drinks to the living room to the tray and here i have a box of um, cereal we are not a big cereal people but this is for my daughter you know once in a while she like to have a uh, cereal so we have this one and over here i have some can canned stuff we try not to buy too much uh, canned stuff because it's not healthy and this ones actually i don't even know what to do with them because my husband bought them uh one time that i was sick and he thought it was the meat but it's actually the sauce and i just just have them here but i'm not really sure what to do with them so I just keep them here then I have some tomato sauce and over here I have another Lazy Susan I have some ketchup this is brand new so it's not open yet not it would be in the fridge this I got in my pop sugar must have oh, it's like a pecan honey mustard um, I don't know I haven't even opened it yet and then have some peanut butter and jelly and some little tiny bottles of uh, tabasco is this tabasco focus not sure what the okay yeah there tabasco that they were really cute so i kept them okay and over here I have a fire extinguisher And this is the ABC one okay so that's that let me get down and let me show you the other shelf I hope it's, there's not uh, too much shaking on the video okay so I put just about everything that I had in bags into these mason jars and I'm glad I had enough because it was a lot of stuff so here I keep my rice, beans, this is black tea, mixed beans, ginger, powder, chia seeds. These are extra leftovers from the bigger bottles. And uh, oats, still cut oats. I have extras in here, Truvia and uh, regular sugar we don't really use too much sugar and uh, sometimes we use truvia for coffee and tea and 
then on this side I have more uh, mason jars with the onions, spaghetti, oatmeal, what I have here? organic quinoa, um, I have a lentils, I have more oatmeal, more lentils, and onions fried onions. I bought this at the Indian store. That one's not staying up. Okay, yeah. So that's it. Then in the bottom shelf, I keep some snacks. We're not, uh, we don't need snacks that much. Or at least that uh, we try to eat healthy, like fruits, you know, vegetables. So we don't really keep that many snacks. I hardly ever buy ice cream or cookies or pastries or cakes when I when we go grocery shopping. Have some pancake mix, saltines for when we make a shrimp cocktail. Got some toffee kind of cookies. Wheat things. Some macaroni and cheese. This is almond milk. This is what I use for my coffee instead of creamer. I use almond milk. And then in the back I have some soups that my daughter likes to eat sometimes. I don't know why nobody else eats them but her. So I have I always keep a few. And some more um, snacks. And here I just have little packets with the seasoning and things like that. Uh, organic brown sugar. I tried to put this inside one of the mason jars, but it was impossible. This thing is so hard. And I'm not sure this is um, no good anymore or if... Uh, all brown sugars are like that, so I just left it in here. And I have some honey in the back. And here I uh, I left all the appliances that I use the most. Have my Nutri Bullet or Magic Bullet. I have my Breville rice cooker. And I have my Breville. Uh, toaster it's a small one so it fits really good here so and we use it just about every day okay in the bottom shelf I put all the paper towels and some trash bags I have a uh... okay so as I was saying my camera keeps turning off for some reason I'm not really sure why Okay, so, um, so I was saying I have some trash bags here, the regular ones. These are running out already, so we got a backup one here. Then we have the heavy duty ones. And then I got a um, first aid kit. This one's for four people. And I got this one from Target, and I got it about a year ago. Yeah. Okay. I want to keep this place as clean and organized as possible. Okay, so let's move on to the pantry door organizer that I got from Amazon. Here it is. At first when I opened it, I thought it was too flimsy, but once you screw it onto the door, it's uh, pretty sturdy. So it's not going anywhere. Okay, so let's start, uh, let's start from the top shelf. Let me see, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. So here on the top, I keep some canned stuff. This is another one of my husband's purchases. At times that I've been sick, I do not like those. They're very, very salty, but I'm just keeping them there for now. On this other one, we keep uh, some peanut butter, for my daughter, jelly, um, unsweetened Hershey's cocoa powder and here we have some Indian spices that I use once in a while 
And here on this other shelf, I keep garlic powder, sesame seeds, red chili powder, and turmeric powder. And then on this two bottom um, shelves, I keep my Tivana teas. Okay, so that is it for my pantry organization video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you on my next